In this video, I'll be showing you all of the most useful working glitches that are still working in 2021. I have chosen these specific glitches as they can offer the most money and XP compared to some of the other glitches I've coded on my channel before. Most of the glitches in this list will require the tower defense skill to be aced, so make sure you have enough skill points to do so. I will leave the timestamps in the pinned comment down below for each glitch so you can skip straight to them. The first glitch I will be covering is the only glitch on the list that does not require the tower defense skill. All I would recommend is that you equip the suit as you will benefit from a high movement speed. Everything else in your loadout is entirely your choice. This glitch is very different to the others as it allows you to get outside the normal boundaries of the map. Follow where I go and make your way into the bank and go upstairs. Do not put your mask on and remain undetected so you can explore the outside of the map without any police. Make your way over to the second office and position yourself in front of the bookshelf. To clip through the wall you will need to sprint and crouch jump by the corner and spam the jump and crouch button. If it doesn't work the first time keep trying and eventually it will work. Now you're outside of the map and can explore in any direction. You can also jump back into the boundaries of the map but there are invisible death barriers where you'll be stuck and will be forced to restart the heist. To get back into the bank you simply jump to the area you want to go to and fall directly underneath in a straight line. So to get into the bank vault I jump directly underneath it and fall in a straight line. Just like that, I'm in the vault. For this glitch, you will need to ace the tower defense skill and copy exactly what I do in this clip. Go to all of the locations and place a turret in each. Change the fire mode by interacting with the prompt so the turrets are on single fire. This will reduce the ammo that the turrets will use if please get too close, as if the turrets run out of ammo, the glitch will fail. Once the turrets are placed, you can interact with the elves to make the presence. The police assault will start and you'll notice that the amount of police on the map is heavily reduced. The police will be distracted by the turrets and will gather around them even though they can't actually reach them because of the locations. This will clear the majority of police from the map and will allow you to make as many presents as you want without the risk of dying. This glitch is very good for getting money and XP, especially on higher difficulties. The diamond can be completed on stealth, but this method will speed up the process of getting all of the loot from the heist. Make your way into the museum and follow where I go, placing the turrets in the exact same locations. The police will spawn in the main courtyard area in the centre of the map and stay there distracted by the turrets. This will give you the entire museum to yourself with the corridors remaining empty. Once you have the diamond, the escape will spawn in the courtyard, so keep that in mind when selecting the difficulty because you will have to go into the courtyard to finish the heist where all the police are. You can get extra loot by bagging artifacts around the museum, which will be made easier by the lack of police. And again, you could stealth it or you could run straight in loud and do this glitch without the police and get out much quicker. New players may struggle with completing this heist on stealth and this glitch will reduce the amount of police on the map making it much easier. Although the police won't spawn in the starting area of the bank, they will spawn once you get past the initial time lock and towards the vault. So this glitch doesn't stop the police from spawning entirely, only in this one area. And for that reason this glitch isn't as useful as Santa's workshop or the first world bank glitch as it doesn't apply to the whole heist. It isn't really an effective glitch when it comes to money and XP. It does however make the start of the heist a lot easier with less police on the map and can be very good for money and XP on high difficulties but will be very difficult for new players once you get into the vault. Stealth is an option on Big Oil Day 1 but the glitch allows you to run straight in and have reduced amount of police on the map. I would say however that stealth is a better option than doing a glitch as you will get the stealth bonus for your next contract. But if you are doing the glitch Place the turrets in the same location I do. You may also spawn in a different place to where I do, which doesn't matter as the turrets do not have to be placed in any specific order. Once the turrets are placed, make your way into the house and follow the instructions to complete the objectives. The police that do spawn will be distracted by the turrets and very few will come up into the house. You can practically sit in a corner and hide until the day is completed. Green bridges allowed highs where most of the gunfights happen in the second part of the heist further down the bridge. The first section of the bridge is where you spawn and will spend a good few minutes. 
to reduce the amount of police in this first section, place the turrets in the exact same locations I do, and remember to change the fire mode to single fire. You can keep your distance from the turrets and the crowds of police around them, and you will be pretty much left alone. To progress through the heist, however, you will have to leave this section of the bridge, and doing so will trigger the police to spawn normally. This means the glitch doesn't apply to the whole heist, and the police will spawn normally again later on. It does make the heist considerably easier, but the glitch isn't the strongest for getting money in XP, although it is quite useful. Alright, so those were some of the best working glitches in 2021. There are quite a few other glitches that I didn't include in the list that are still working, so I could make a part two. Leave a like on the video, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you are new for more glitches, and I'll see you in the next one in a bit, boys.